hello, 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 hello. It's Danny Moon here, y'all. Call me what you want, as long as it's respectful. So let's show the shirt first. Let's show the whole outfit, okay? I never wear a little headband, but y'all saw this do rag before. I love being bald. Got me some 99 cent earrings. But this shirt, whoo, this shirt. Leave in the comments if you like my shirt. <laughs> I love my shirt. I, I got it off like Facebook. Um, I think it was like $40. It comes in a lot of different colors. So I can't tell you like what store it was from. Um, and you see the arms, they, they, they button. Um, this is good for fall. This is even good for winter. It's winter now. I, I came around the corner to my sister's house and I was just fine. Um, but I also am in a, in a car. So that was my rant. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I am in my sister's bathroom because... My space is being occupied right now, so I won't be there for a couple of weeks. So, this is the atmosphere you will be seeing, okay? Um, see any moon here, y'all call me what you want, as long as it's respectful. Number two, I know I said that twice. <laughs> Geminis, where you at? Where you at, Geminis? I think you're going to like your reading tonight because... I meditated and I really was meditating for myself, but I couldn't help I couldn't help but to ask. Like I didn't even ask. In my meditation, I just said Gemini. And um I saw money. I saw money. Um I heard the word um and I didn't want to forget it. It was something like redirection, like focusing on like focusing on you now Gemini's like really moving forward like trying to up your game at your job getting a new job I did hear car but they gave it was broad what they gave me because it's a lot I'm reading for all the Gemini's who are, who are watching this so when they said car it was very broad where either people are buying cards people are fixing their cars People are wanting, just thinking about buying cars um, or something about cars. So if anything is going on with your car, this reading is for you, baby. Um, I did ask for love and I only got two things. Um, again, because I'm working with a lot of Gemini energy right now. That one of the things I've heard was I'm tunnel visioned. If you ain't with me, then get off my train. I, I I didn't hear that, but that's the energy I got. Like, Gemini's, some Gemini's is like, yo, you don't like my new hours? You don't like that I'm working a lot? You don't like that I'm not focused only on you? I, I'm focused on me now. And I love that energy. Now, I don't want you to be out there dissing or playing your spouse if they're asking for attention or whatever. But I do feel like if you need to be tunnel vision right now because this is a brand new year. And I told you, I told all the Zodiacs that January, February, and March is going to be a, a, like an eclipse change for everyone it's going to be a drastic change with growth with spirituality with jobs with moving with mindset with everything so this is part of y'all's change and y'all's growth is that you are focusing on you gemini's um and now they're telling me money again they're telling me so your money is definitely um leveling up leveling level leveling up if that makes any sense and if it has not um if it has not gone up now it will be trust me it will be now they're telling they're showing me the either the, the king of pentacles or the knight of pentacles so let's get started let's start with and because i'm at my sister's house i only have three decks with me but the good thing about it is that i haven't used these these are my mystic my monday tarot mystic monday tarot i love these cards i usually use them as a clarifier um and i have my um, angel answers and my spell casting. I love these decks because they have my energy in them and spirit really 
answers when I use these cards. So you are in good hands tonight, Geminis. Um, right now, either somebody's standing on a balcony because I'm. I feel like I'm standing on a balcony. I'm looking at the stars, the skies, or something, and I don't know who this could be because it's cold. Where I'm at, I'm in North Carolina, it's cold. Um, but, who knows, maybe you got a coat on, I don't know. Spirit, can you please come in and bring, um, oh, did I tell you the other part to the love part? I either got you either on my train or you off my train, and then for the other people, I got um, loyalty. Like, you're very loyal and committed to your relationship. So, which felt good to me. So, and that's the only thing I got on the love issue there. Um, Spirit, can you please come in and give the Geminis accurate messages? Can we start off with two or four cards, please? What do you want them to know? They're saying mother to me right now. So, Spirit, can you elaborate, please? Your mother could be, if there's anybody out there, you know, with a mother, which we all have mother, whether they're living or not, um, they're trying to say like your mother has some health issues. I don't know why diabetes is coming to me. Maybe um, cholesterol, high blood pressure. You need to just check on your mother and tell your mother like, or ask your mother, when's the last time you've been to the doctor? When When's the last time you got a full checkup? You know what I mean? Maybe you're a mother. Whoever's watching this, maybe you're a mother and you're going through those particular health issues or any other health issues. Spirit is trying to tell you that they know and they want you to either go check on it, um, do what the doctors are saying, do what you got to do, exercise, eat right. This is the time where we need to be doing, having, making significant changes in in our lives and that means even with our health stop smoking cigarettes you know trying to eat right trying to exercise more even if you don't want to go to the gym you should be walking every day or um doing your home in your home exercise dancing whatever it is <clears throat> thank you spirit can i get i know that was long but it is what it is um spirit can i get two cards for the gemini please they're showing me a card right now Um, the world, the world card is about starting a new cycle. It means like going through a threshold. It means starting a new, it means a cycle is over and a new cycle is coming in. And sp what spirit is saying about this is that it's good to be tunnel vision and moving forward and thinking about you, but please have, um, Please prioritize. Know exactly what you want. Know what you're you're going for. Know how much money you want more. Know if you want to switch jobs or if you just want to move to a different department. Know if you want to leave a relationship or not. Don't just leave people in the wind because... Because, Gemini, y'all are ready to do you. You understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> But I must say, all the Geminis that I know are very sweet. Y'all do have a whole other twin, a whole other side to y'all. So don't act like y'all ain't crazy. But overall, the, Gem the Geminis I know are very nice. And I don't think y'all will leave people in the wind. But the way I'm hearing spirit is that y'all are tired of where y'all are at. You're tired of the same job. You're tired of the same money. Some of you are tired of the relationship that you're in. And you would, you just are like full steam ahead. And spirit wants you to know that that is great. But you got to do it the right way. Okay? <clears throat> spirit, can I get, um, can you clarify the, this world for me? Can you tell me, tell the Geminis uh, something about the world card, please? I'm hearing so many things. I, I don't know if that's the Little Mermaid song. It's, it's a whole new world. I'm not a singer. I don't know. It's some type of animation song. Um, then I saw that um, A Different World. 
Remember that show that came on back in the day? A Different World. So maybe some people are going into college or going back to school. You might get the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is about like apprenticeness or going to school or um, working hard or training or certificate or something like that. <clears throat> Spirit, come on. Can I get, please? Can I get, I'm oh, sorry. Can the Geminis get something else, please? Thank you. Princess of Swords. That's like the Page of Swords. Page of Swords, y'all. Princess, Princess of Swords. These are beautiful cards. So there's some type of going into this new world, this new cycle. Um, there's going to be a lot of communication surrounding you guys. And that could be probably with your spouse. Um, again, I'm going to repeat the same thing. Spirit just wants you to go about it right. Use the, use the right words, do the right thing. You know, um, in order to be a good communicator, you have to be a good listener. And listen, remember I just now said, maybe some people are going back to school. The page of swords, princess of swords, um, is also about, um, gaining knowledge you know what i mean some type of knowledge so you could be thinking about going back to school or you're going back to school furthering your education is awesome in this new cycle coming up i, I think it's awesome but don't think about it be about it but the energy that i'm getting gemini's is y'all are about it y'all about to really do it up you know y'all about to really level up <clears throat> spirit can i get something else for the gemini's please Sorry, I gotta lick my fingers, y'all. My um, my hands are dry. <laughs> um, ten of swords. And again, it's like the world card. The ten of swords means a cycle is over. It could be this relationship. Um, it could be just a mindset. It it could be, you know how your mindset could be complacent. Ten of swords is saying, uh uh, no more complacent. We change. We gonna spice things up. We change. We we changing something. 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 Something's happening. This old routine, this bored routine is over. I love it. <clears throat> Spirit, can you tell me what this ten of swords has to do with, please? Can you clarify this ten of swords, please? Uh, this is too many, but I will take them anyway. Um, the fool, the fool is about taking a leap of faith. So when this cycle is over, spirit is saying you're going to have to take a leap of faith somewhere. That could be with leaving a relationship that you've been in for 10 years, taking a leap of faith and saying, you know what, I'm going to be on my own. You know what I mean? Only you know what the leap of faith is. You know what I mean? It could be like you had a job at a factory making cups, but now you want to be a fashion designer. You have no experience, but you make clothes really good. Those are bad examples. Just work with me, y'all. Um, so it's it's about taking a leap of faith. It's about leaning into your faith. It's about saying, you know what? I know God got me. It don't have to be my God. It can be your God, your creator. I know that I can do this. I'm confident and I'm about to switch it up. All spirit is asking you to do is to take the right steps and to prioritize. Okay? Prioritize. Let me get some of this water. Prioritize. Know what company you want to go to. Save up money. Um, gain some knowledge like the Page of Swords. Um, do your research. Um, who or whoever you're close to, if you're in a relationship. Um, let them know, this is what I plan on doing starting February. You know, my schedule is going to change. You got to um, communicate, okay? Um, the next one, uh, the next two cards I got is the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Isn't that so weird? Two, two cards, the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So the Two of Pentacles is about multitasking. It's about doing too much. It's about juggling. It's about making a decision. Um, the two of wands is about also about multitasking. It's about making a decision. It's about not knowing. Um, 
The only difference with the two of wands is that in, in, in two of my other decks, the illustration is somebody is holding on to one stick and then the other stick is on the other side of them. So to me, the two of wands, you know what direction you want to go in. You know, you see there's, look at the card, y'all. You got two wands, you got two um, stripes, but you only got one path. You know which way to go, but that means you got to take a leap of faith. And I don't know if you, I'm not really sure if you're ready to do that, but the energy that I'm getting is full steam ahead. So to me, that means you are ready. Just you got to prepare. You have to prepare. You can't jump off of a building without a parachute. You know what I'm saying? You got to prepare, okay? But the two of anything always means to make a decision. So Spirit is saying that they will help you do whatever you need, whatever you need to be done. Leaving a job, leaving a relationship, starting your own business, doing something new. They will help you. But you have to take action first and you have to go about it the proper way. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. They're telling me mother again. Somebody either needs to go to the dentist because they're telling me teeth. Spirit, can you give me some more for the Geminis, please? Right, and now they're saying, when's the last time you've been to the, to the dentist? They're saying to you, when's the last time you've been to the dentist? So maybe someone's having toothache out there, tooth pain. Um, or maybe you're not having any tooth pain. Maybe it's time for you to make an appointment or maybe you made an appointment. If so, if any of that relates to you, that means this message is for you. Um, the five of wands, the five of wands is, is conflict y'all, even though that's a beautiful card and that doesn't look like conflict. It is, um, a lot of this could be conflict of your mind of I don't know what to do, but I really do know what to do. I don't want to make this decision because I don't want to hurt people. I'm, she's, she or he is really loyal to me, so I'm going to stay in this relationship. I want to go back to school. Like, it's too much contemplate, too much contemplation, okay? The energy that I first felt was full steam ahead. You know, knowing what you want to do, leveling up your money, changing jobs, making decisions. That was the first energy that I got. But the cards are not saying that. The cards is the cards is almost telling to giving you advice. Because you got the world card and the 10 of swords. That means the cycle's over. Then you got the page of swords. The page of swords is going to school, learning, you know, get gaining knowledge. The page of swords is also about somebody watching you you know, on your social media, Facebook, whatever it is, you know, they're watching you. You know what I'm saying? Um, then you got the full card. The full card is about taking a leap of faith. Does this mean you're, you're contemplating or not sure if you should go to school? Is that what it is? Um, sorry, I got hair in my eye, y'all. Uh... The advice here is, You shouldn't be in anything, no matter what it is. You shouldn't be in anything that doesn't serve you. So if something's not serving you, or if some, some type of old routine is not serving you, you need to get up out of that. But you need to do it the right way. You need to look at something that you never did before, or leave someone and be alone and take that leap of faith and start your new life. Okay, whatever these decisions are, you need to make these decisions and you need not to have conflict with anyone. <clears throat> and that's funny because, again, the Geminis I know, they, they're not real confrontational, the ones I know. <clears throat> but that card is saying you're going to have some type of conflict. But I said that conflict could be within you, within your mind, within your soul. 
okay? Then that means that's up to you. You got to meditate. If you come to tarot, that means you are in this metaphysical life somehow. So, you know, you have to meditate. You have to hear spirit. You got to let the universe guide you. But you can't do that all willy-nilly. You can't do that without meditating. <clears throat> Spirit, can you give me um something for this five of wands, please? Seven of swords. And that mm -hmm. five of wands and seven of swords. Seven of swords is about deceit. This card is like the thief of the deck. People who are thieves. They trying to sneak away. You know what I mean? Um You see the person hiding the hiding the sword behind his or her back. So this could be about a relationship. Somebody could be um stealing your energy. Somebody could be literally stealing from you at home or at work. Um <clears throat> and that's where the conflict is going to come in and that's where the decision making is going to come in and that's where the leap of faith is going to come in. Okay, because all of this, if this is a relationship, means this relationship does not serve you anymore. You know, you heard that saying, sometimes people come into your life for a season and a reason. You know, sometimes you got to let it go. <clears throat> and I know that's easier said than done. Because I know finances are involved, and I know kids are involved, and I know family is involved, history is involved. But you got to ask yourself, am I going to be in this negative energy for the rest of my life? Because if you don't make moves, that's exactly where you're going to be. <clears throat> and look at the bottom of the deck. If you come to tarot, that means you know something about tarot. What is the Eight of Cups? The Eight of Cups is about walking away. Walking away from things, places, people that don't serve you any longer. So I'm telling you right now, if this has to do with a relationship and you did not know what to do, Spirit is saying, do you. <laughs> it's time for you to do you because you are covered. And not to worry about all the, the, the other things that I mentioned, the finances, the kids, the family, or whatever. You know what I mean? You are resilient, Gemini's. You will bounce back. All right? <clears throat> Take time for yourself, though. I must tell you that. Please take time for yourself. Gemini, thank you. Gemini energy. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is, a, is the... um. A cup of tea. That's what I just heard. First, I saw a sneaker. Like, either you're looking for a sneaker or you're buying sneakers... Or you want to wear a pair of sneakers. Um, but then I heard a cup of tea. Maybe someone needs to put their sneakers on to go get a cup of tea for someone. I'm not really sure. Um, but that's what I just heard. The ace of the ace of swords is a new beginning. All the aces in the deck means new beginning. But the ace of swords is a like the waha voila. What did Oprah Winfrey used to say? The uh waha. Woohoo card when you get a great idea. So yeah, you probably have really good ideas, Gemini. Um, but again, you're on this routine thing, routine roller coaster, um, that you kind of probably put whatever this idea to the side. Or you're saying, Can I do it? I don't know. Can I do it? I don't know. Spirit is saying, do it. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Be with it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, my ladies in the. Mm. Sorry. Spirit, can I just. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm sounding crazy, y'all. I'm, I'm really tired. I worked all day. Spirit, can I get something for the Geminis for this Ace of Swords, please? Wow. I'm only going to take this one. This is the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is like. 
it, the four of wands is many things. One, it's family and friends celebrating. Two, it could be you and your spouse moving into in house in into a house. Um, three, this could be you moving out of a house or maybe you making your spouse move out. I don't know. This could be you getting an apartment. This is this is a threshold card. Walking in into a new threshold. So you already got the world card, you got the ten of swords, and now you got the four of wands, which is a threshold. Walking into something brand new that's going to take your life in a different direction or it's going to level you up, you know, whether you leave this house or find a house, whatever it is. This is also the 1111 card, so make a wish. Amen. So more to be. <clears throat> boom, boom. I'll, I'm going to tell you what I got. The King of Pentacles and the Magician. So to me, this looks like a couple. So I'm sure that this is a relationship I'm talking about. Don't that look like a couple? So I'm going to put it back in the deck. <clears throat> Spirit, can you give me? I see it. Thank you. I caught that off the bat. Ten of Wands. Look, another ten. You got the Ten of Swords and now you got the Ten of Wands. Spirit is saying there is a drastic cycle that is over for you, Geminis. This this um, parlaying, this procrastinating, this I don't know what to do. Oh, I don't know if I, I could get out of this marriage. It's over. All right? Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck is talking about being very intuitive, being very gifted like me. We're all gifted in the world. Don't get it twisted. Every single person and animal is gifted, but not everybody is activated. And when you get the Queen of Cups, that means your intuition is working. So you're, you're starting to get activated. Like you're, you don't know what's going on with your dreams or you're seeing things at the side of your eye, you know, things walking by or you, you start to think that you bugging out but you're not you're not it's spirit they walk the earth okay <clears throat> spirit can i get on uh, two more please gemini energy gemini energy please for the gemini's please gemini energy for the gemini's please <laughs> thank you oh, you got my card the libra card um, so some of you could be with Libras, a lot of you could be with um, a Libra, a Libra, Gemini, Gemini, or maybe you have Libra in your chart, that could be it. Um, but the Justice card is about legal action, so some, some of you might, some of you might have to go to court when it comes to this split, like if you are splitting with your partner. Um, if you're splitting with your partner, you might have to go to court. Um, you might want to go to court for child support. Anything that has to do with legal papers, legal documents, legal, 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 lawyers, court, jail, whatever. That's what the justice card is about. It's about fairness. Now, say if you have no legal matters in your life, first of all, prepare because you might, this could be future energy. Second of all, the justice card is trying to tell you everything is going to be okay. It's going to be fair. It's going to be split down the middle. If you go get an apartment, he'll keep the house. If she go get an apartment, he'll keep the house. So, something like that. You know what I mean? But see, not everybody likes fairness. You know, some people don't want her to keep the house or her to get an apartment. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is this. When, you, when something is fair... And you got 10% off or 1% off or 2% off or whatever it is. That's a blessing with, within itself. Just look up and be grateful. Okay? The bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords. You trapped in your mind about this relationship. Now, trust me, there's a lot of Geminis out there who it, this is. this reading is not for a relationship. This could be a job. Whatever it is, you're trapped in your mind about it because you're contemplating. Should you do it? Should you not do it? Should you go here? Should you move to another state? You know, you're, you're asking yourself, should I get a new car? Because I told you I heard 
car earlier. You know, you're asking yourself these questions and you're trapping your you're trapping yourself in your mind. When all spirit really wants you to do is get out of that thought and just go, just go. Make sure you do your research. Make sure you're smart about it. But spirit does want you not to hesitate anymore. <clears throat> Again, and I shuffle twice. Bottom of the deck, the magician. Spirit is saying you could do whatever you want to do. You choose to sit where you at. You choose to be in this relationship. You choose to be at this job. You choose to have these family members, like, without, you know, walking away from them. Because you're nervous. You're scared. You know what I mean? And I get that. But 2022, there's no time for that. Gemini's there ain't no time for that. No can do. I can't go for that. I'm showing my age. Let me stop. Spirit, can we give the Geminis, um, ooh, remain positive. Whatever the situation is with your spouse and it's time and you know that it's over or you want it to be over, please remain positive. The way you talk, your demeanor, how you speak to them, how you conversate with them, how you interact with them, remain positive so that even if it is going to be a breakup, It'll be a, a mutual breakup and maybe y'all can still continue to be friends. You know, just remain positive. Your thoughts turn into your mind and then they come from your mind and you create your own reality. I know I said that all wrong, but I think y'all know what I'm talking about. Sorry. So we got romance within the next few weeks. We got two yeses, baby. Two yeses. I love it. And be assertive. Gemini's, the ones that I know, I must say the ones that I know, um, I don't know y'all to be super assertive. Y'all are really sweet people. Um, but Spirit is trying to say, you can go about things the right way and you can conversate and you can communicate and you can do all these good things, but you can still put your foot down, create boundaries and be assertive without offending the other party. Okay. Spirit, can I get, thank you. It's up to you. Gemini's, it's up to you whether you want to stay in this space that you're in or if you're really ready to dive into this metaphysical world and like start meditating and doing candle magic and doing little mojo bags and doing just doing spells, you know what I mean? Or praying a lot, you know what I mean? Writing intentions down. If you really want to move forward and see a big change in your life, um, leveling up with your money, with your career, with your spouse or whatever, you will follow these directions. These ad this advice that spirit is trying to give you, I don't know why I can't get my words out tonight. This advice that spirit is trying to give you, they want you to use it. All right, y'all, 32 minutes. I never shuffle that way. 32 minutes. <clears throat> Spirit, can I get something for the Geminis, please? Can I get two more, please? And guess what fell on the floor? Guess how many fell on the floor? Does anybody know? I see you in the back raising your hand. Do you know how many cards fell on the floor? Boom, just what I asked for. This situation will improve. You have to have faith. You have to know that it will improve. You have to take action. You have to take conscious action. Helpful people. There are people around you who will help you, who will communicate with you, who will give you wise words, who will really guide you, who will really guide you to where you need to be. Now, y'all saw me shuffle, right? Look what's on the bottom of the deck. 
Be assertive. You you can't let people walk all, all over you, Gemini's. You can't. You can't stay in a relationship because you are dedicated to loyalness. You can't stay in a relationship because of your kids. Because then what type of parent are you going to be? You want to know if someone's cheating? I just heard that. I just heard... I'm going to be honest. I just heard, is he cheating? If you got to ask that, then there's your problem. If you have to ask that question, then there's your problem. There's something better. Take action. And I'm keeping these out, too. Because they definitely belong to you, Geminis. All right, let's get on to the last deck. That's the only thing with these shirts. These um, Look at the bottom of the deck, baby. That's me all day. Psychic abilities. Because y'all are coming into your psychic abilities. For the champagne mm -hmm. Spirit, can I get three um, for the Geminis, please? Thank you. Two more, please. All right, we'll definitely take this one. Inspiration. You're in right now, Geminis. I do. That's the energy. When I say full steam ahead, I do have that is the energy of like being inspired, not just to create something, but you're inspired to move forward in your life. And I love that. The next one was happiness. I think this is what y'all are seeking. Geminis, you will get this, but there are steps that you have to take. You have to remain positive. You have to be assertive. You have to um, meditate. You have to let these helpful people help you. You have to know that there's something better for you, that your creator has something better for you. You have to take the proper steps in order to gain that happiness, okay? I told you I heard money. Didn't I tell you I saw money or I heard money in the beginning of my meditation? Didn't I tell you your money is going to level up? Prosperity, baby. Can't get no better than that. <laughs> wow. Thank you, spirit. Can I get one more? Just, just curious. Can I get one more for the Gemini's? Wow, this is perfect too. In order to do this stuff, in order to get out of this craziness that you're in, Geminis, you're going to have to trust. You're going to have to trust. You're going to have to take a leap of faith somewhere in your life. And you're going to have to trust that the Lord, your Lord, uh, your creator got you and won't let you down. Um, and you're looking for answers. You're looking for answers. See, my ears ringing. Spirit is talking to me. My angels is here. Um, you're looking for answers. You're on like a spiritual quest or like an internal looking for who who this new Gemini is. M meaning like you're going into a new cycle of your life. It's almost like a brand new you. So you're looking for answers. Who am I? Where am I going? What do I want to do? Spirit is saying they're going to answer your questions for you. You have to sit still and listen. Okay, and you got to do the things that I just now said, <laughs> you know, take the leap of faith. You need to know that there's something better. You need to ask these helpful people, you know, you there's things that you have to do in order to move forward. And spirit is giving you like that one last push. Okay. Whew. All right. Um, I was going to say, all right, spirit. <laughs> I'm so tired. All right, Jemmies. I love my Geminis. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'm going to leave it on that note. Let's see what's at the bottom of this deck. We have beauty. The beauty is in the eye of the beholder, y'all. Beauty is, in the, is, is within you, okay? Beauty is what you produce, okay? Um, Danny Moon here, y'all. Hit me on uh, TikTok at Danny3. Moon, D-A-N-N-I, three moon. Um, also, you can email me at moon, Danny, M-O-O-N, D-A-N-N-I, 
1976 at gmail.com. I'm about to lay across this couch and probably fall asleep. Have a good night. Toodles. <laughs>